and we've been asked to sketch a graph of the function f of x equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. We're going to do that by identifying some basic features that we know about the function. The first thing I always do if I want to create a sketch is I want to identify the type of function that we're dealing with. I see that this function has the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not 0. In this case, a is equal 1, b is negative 4, and c is negative 12. Because it has this form, I know it's a quadratic function. So the first thing I want to ask myself is, what do the graphs of quadratic functions look like? You know that they look like parabolas. They're either parabolas that open up or parabola that opens down. The way to determine if it is open up or open down is to consider the leading coefficient. In this case, leading coefficient, the number in front of x squared is positive. Because that leading coefficient is positive, I know that the graph will open up. So I already know that the graph of this function is a parabola that opens up. Let's see if we can find some details. One of the easiest things to determine about aquatic function is its y-intercept. Remember that y-intercepts occur where x is equal to 0. So you could go to the function and evaluate it when x is 0, and you'll find that you'll get 0, comma, negative 12. When the function is written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, that constant term c is your y-intercept. So in this case, we could just glance at it and see that 0, comma, negative 12 is the y-intercept. And lastly, another relatively easy thing to find is the vertex. Remember, the vertex is the point on the graph of the parabola that's either the very, very highest point, the maximum, the very, very lowest point, the minimum. Now, in this case, we know we have a parabola that opens up. So our x will be the very, very lowest point on the graph. It will be the minimum. We have a formula for finding where the vertex occurs. The vertex of a parabola will occur at x equals negative b over 2a. So I'll go ahead and evaluate that. It's negative, negative 4, there's negative b, over 2 times 1, that's 2a. And so it's 4 over 2 is just 2. The x value of the vertex is 2. But x is a point. We want to go ahead and find the y value of that point as well. So the y value of the vertex, we know the x value. We'll go ahead and plug x equals 2 into the formula and evaluate to identify the y value of the vertex. So back to the, fun the function's formula, I let x be 2. And when you plug that in, you'll find that the value is negative 16. So what I've learned is that the vertex is the point 2 comma negative 16. And this is the minimum, the very, very low point on the graph. I've identified quite a few important features of this function. If I do, I can go ahead and sketch this. What I've determined is that it opens up, so it's going to be a U that opens upwards. I know that the lowest point on the graph occurs at over 2, down 16. I know that the graph intersects the y-axis at 0, negative 12. Notice that that's above this vertex, the low point. So here's 0, negative 12. This is the very lowest on the point on the graph, right here at the vertex. The parabola will be symmetric. It will be centered right around that vertex. So when I sketch the graph, I draw it in a way that is centered around x equals 2. So you see that it comes down, reaches a low at 2, and then travels back upwards again. And here is a graph of f of x. It's a nice sketch. In unit 2, we're going to work on finding those x-intercepts. Right now, we'll leave that be.